Leader, third party. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. I must say, Honourable Speaker, it's a bit rich. It's a bit rich to listen, members opposite, the leader of the official opposition, stand up and talk about failed promises. When I sat and listened for four years, the promise of unicorns in all of our backyards from LNG. And on that topic, Honourable Speaker, every year the BC government members, doles we shall out, hear the question. Every year the BC government doles out hundreds of millions of dollars to oil and gas companies to subsidise horizontal drilling in the northeast of our province. The companies earn uh, these credits by drilling qualified wells, and when the well starts to produce gas, the companies apply the credits to reduce or even eliminate provincial royalties that they would normally pay on this public resource. In recent years, Honourable Speaker, the participating companies have amassed credits faster than they can spend them. The balance in their deep drilling account has increased from $752 million in 2012 to an accumulated $3.2 billion today. Not only are we not getting paid for this public resource, we are literally paying companies to take it from us. My question for you, to the Honourable Speaker, uh, is to the Minister of Energy Mines and Petroleum Resources. How can the Minister justify continuing the deep well royalty program when it is not needed by gas companies and it is such a staggering waste of taxpayer money? Minister Energy, Mines and Petroleum Resources. Uh, thank you very much, Honourable Speaker, and thank you to the member uh, for the question on what is a, a very important issue. Uh, let me start by saying that uh, British Columbians want uh, this government to ensure that projects are providing good family supporting uh, jobs, but they also want to make sure that projects are meeting high environmental standards. Absolutely, Honourable Speaker. They want to make sure that British Columbians are also getting a fair rate of return. Last year, the province received $145 million in royalty revenue from natural gas development, and this money obviously goes to help support the services that British Columbians rely on every day. We also want to ensure that, uh, as I said, we're meeting the highest standard of uh, environmental protection, and that's why this government has announced that it will be moving forward with a hydraulic fracturing scientific review panel. And that panel, that panel is uh, going to be getting started in the new year, and we'll have more details uh, following, uh, 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 sorry, following January, Honourable Speaker. Uh, but more most importantly, Honourable Speaker, this government is committed to ensuring that all British Columbians benefit from safe and sustainable development in this province, and that's what we're going to be doing. Leader, third party on a supplemental. Speaker, it was so boisterous, I couldn't hear you acknowledging my standing here. The Honourable Speaker, the Deep Well Royalty Credit Program was designed to enable the provincial government to share the cost of drilling in BC's deep gas basins when it was a so called risk based industry. It's not anymore. Horizontal fracturing is no longer a new technology, it's become an industry norm. In 2009 and again in 2014, the BC Liberals relaxed the requirements for deep well credits, and so they could, could pay uh, companies more money to drill. In the eight years prior to the 2009 changes, BC collected an average of $1.3 billion per year in natural gas royalties. In the eight years since, BC collected, uh, in the eight years since BC collected an average of $307 million per year. And last year, the minister told us, we collected a mere $145 million. Measured as a share, Honourable Speaker, of the value of oil and gas production in BC, royalties collected by government Members, have fallen, have fallen from 44% in 2008 to just 4% last year, Honourable Speaker. Our government is literally giving away our natural resource and paying oil and gas, gas companies to extract it. My question, Honourable Speaker, through you to the Honourable uh, Minister of Energy, Mines and Petroleum Resources is this. How can your government continue with this gig giveaway when there is such an urgent need in our society to, trans to, to transition to a low carbon economy? Minister, Energy, Mines and Petroleum Resources. Uh, thank you, Your Honourable Speaker. And, and to speak to this uh, particular program, I just want to make sure that the member knows that many of the credits that uh, he speaks of will actually likely never be used as older wells are closed. And just as an example, one well recently uh, earned a million dollars worth of credits, but 
uh, sorry, not recently. It earned a million dollars worth of credits, but it's been shut for 10 years. It's not going to reopen, so it will not actually be realizing those credits. There's quite a, a few of uh, other examples exactly like this, and I'd be happy to set up a briefing for the member so that he could get to the full details of this issue that I'm, I'm very glad that he's quite concerned about. And question period doesn't allow the time to go over all the details. Honourable Speaker, again, I will say that this government is committed to ensuring that British Columbians get a fair rate of return for their resources, that they have good family-supporting jobs, and that we are protecting our environment. There you are.